Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, this is just the video that I wanted to show you guys after my birthday. My last video, I believe it was. I asked you guys what was going on about saltwater tanks. Because I've only owned a freshwater tank before. I've owned a couple of them, but never owned a saltwater. So I made one for my birthday with all the stuff that I got from everyone. I took the input that I received from others. Uh, some inbox messages and whatnot. This is what I threw together. So it's a 25 tall. I'll show you guys just all the stuff that I have in here. I have a live bedding. I'm going to show you guys a little cool thing that I found on the inside of it. I have uh, that right there inside the center right here. That is a uh, penguin. It's a 350 I believe it is. That's actually made for a 70 gallon tank. And this is only a 25 so you can imagine the circulation and the filter how good it is. What's going on inside my tank here? It's pretty damn clean. Got my uh, little circulator here, uh, my heater, my uh, tank heat over here, my little light. If you look here, these are kind of ghetto, but there's rulers, two rulers. It's holding my tank upright or my light up right now. That's only temporary. I'm getting rid of them tomorrow. Me and my dad are actually making a I guess they're like wooden slips that go right across and this way the light can sit right on top of them no no type of a uh, like worry I guess for my fish the things won't break off or anything the light won't fall into the tank so but yeah I'm gonna tell you guys about this little deal that I got this filter here you guys can oh right there filter that I got it's a 70 gallon in stores it's about sixty dollars here in Canada I actually went online I found it for 38 bucks so I bought it right away it's a nice deal and this right here the circulator last time that I checked inside the stores it was $35 and I got mine for 28 online with the uh, the filter right here so and everything was brand new brand new in the box which is pretty cool heater I got for 20 bucks it's nothing much it's a 30 gallon heater and this is only a 25 so it should keep it all good a little uh, you know, my little temper, whatever the hell this thing's called, temperature reader thing. I kind of sound stupid, but, you know, <laughs> this bad boy only cost me, like, three bucks. That little white thing right there, that's my uh, magnet glass cleaner. Pretty cool. Yeah, like I was showing you guys before, like I had said, I wanted to show you something cool. If you look right, right here, you take a look right there. There's a heart. I found it inside the sand bed. It's in a pocket, an air pocket, oxygen pocket. And right next to it, there's a face. You see the eye where my fingernail is? The other eye? And the mouth? There's another face. It's pretty cool. So I just left it because I don't want to mess with it. So this is the tank right now, as you guys can see. What I'm going to do is I still have to get live rock. I'm thinking about making a cave that goes straight across over top. So like a big, almost like a bridge, and then a cave in the background, so it all just falls together. I'm not 100% sure though, if you guys want to give some suggestions on what I should do with live rock, throw it in. I don't know anything about the live rock yet, so if you guys want to list some cool ones that you think would look cool in my tank, because I don't want to do a background in my tank, whatever you guys think, just throw me a suggestion, it would be cool. I'll take into, take into thought what you guys think. So that's my 25 gallon and you guys all know about the fresh water right here this is the 60 gallon and it is being dismantled as we speak and what I want to do with it is I want to take all the stuff on the inside of it like all this grass kind of stuff this plant here all the fish the rocks I'm gonna take it all out just leaving the sand bed and then this is what I'm planning on doing here So, I don't know if you guys can see it all that well, but here, give me a second. If you guys take a look here, you guys can see this picture that I drew out. This is what I plan on doing. I'm planning on making it back into an emperor sh shark tank. So, I'm going to have one emperor shark inside of it instead of two this time. And I'm going to make a, sil uh, not silicone, um, what are they called? Styrofoam. A styrofoam brick wall that'll go throughout it'll take up 
this entire wall right here so this half of the wall take up part of the back and I'll go on the bottom underneath the sand bed so the sand bed will hold weight down on it and then right up at the top of the water so it almost looks like a cave from one side for the shark and I'll leave the top off so that the light it's like a cave so he can hang out in there leave the filter up there and then over here I have just the one light the one headlight over there and then the same idea with the rock except it's only going to be on the back wall and then the right wall and then I'll go underneath so it'll come out of the wall like on an angle and then the sand bed right across and throw on the uh, an emperor shark and yeah shouldn't be too hard I'm going to make the wall by myself this week so well not by myself with the help from a buddy of mine but it should be pretty cool I'll show you guys when that comes together so just uh leave me some messages on what you guys think if you live in Toronto or if you actually know who I am and you want to buy some fish I'm selling all my freshwater fish here for eighty dollars eighty bucks for everything all the fish so there you go guys there's the freshwater there's the saltwater and I'll smell you later <laughs>